We need to find the solutions to the equation 4 to the power of a minus 36 to the power of b is equal to 28, where a and b are natural numbers. The first thing to notice here is that all three of our terms in this equation are multiples of 4. We've got 4 to the power of a, which is obviously a multiple of 4, but 36 and 28 are also multiples of 4. So let's see if we can get some 4s from them. Starting with the 36, 36 is 4 times 9. And by the rules of indices, if we've got 36 to the power of b, then we can change this into 4 to the power of b times by 9 to the power of b. And we know that 4 to the a must be larger than 36 to the b because the difference between them is 28, which means that 4 to the power of a must also be larger than any factors of 36 to the b. So it's larger than 4 to the power of b. So let's factorise this 4 to the power of b out. So we now get 4 to the power of b. Our four, first term becomes 4 to the power of a minus b. And then we're subtracting 9 to the power of b. Now we mentioned earlier that these are all multiples of 4. So let's change our 28 now. 28 is 4 times 7. So we've now got 4 to the power of b times by 4 to the a minus b minus 9 to the b is equal to 4 times 7. Now on the right hand side, 4 times 7, 7 is a prime factor. The other prime factors must be the 2 times 2 that goes into the 4. And by the prime factor theorem, this means that this is equal to the left hand side, then the left hand side must also have 2 times 2 times 7 as its prime factors. Now if we look at the brackets, our 4 to the a minus b, that's 4 to the power of a whole number, so that must be an even number. And 9 to the power of a whole number is an odd number. So our bracket, this even takeaway odd, must be an odd number. Hence, it can't have 2s as its factors. So the only thing left that can be a factor of this bracket is the 7, which means that the 4 to the power of b must be equal to the 4. We can now solve these. So 4 to the power of b equals 4. b must be equal to 1. Substituting this into the right-hand side, we get that 4 to the a minus 1 minus 9 to the 1 equals 7. Well, 9 to the 1 is 9. Add that to both sides. We get that 4 to the power of a minus 1 is 16. 16 is 4 squared, so a minus 1 must be equal to 2. And a is equal to 3. So there we have it. There are our solutions. a is equal to 3 and b is equal to 1. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.